What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to yet another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 decorative builds that have some sort of functionality to them. Now Minecraft is obviously a game where you can go ahead and do pretty much whatever you want. You can go adventuring, you can do some technical builds, you can go ahead and put circuitry together. Tons of different stuff and one of the things that a lot of people really like to do is make decorations for their builds. And most of the time these decorations are literally just that for decoration. However, I did find a few things that you can go ahead and do that not only adds to your build aesthetically, but also has some sort of use to the actual build itself. And that's what this video is obviously about. But real quick before I get started, shameless plug for you guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing a custom skin pack from me, there will be a link down in the description where you can find a little bit more information in that regard. Guard. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And this first one is a simple grandfather clock. And before I go any further, all these can actually be built in survival, but you obviously are going to need the materials in order to, to do so. But yeah, we've got ourselves a grandfather clock right here. We've got ourselves a clock inside of an item frame. And inside of here, we've got ourselves a bell. And we've got ourselves an iron bar, which technically I tried to put the bell onto the iron bar but that didn't work unfortunately but the actual functionality still works so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it to nighttime if you guys listen the bell ended up ringing now obviously if in your you're in a survival setting you're not gonna have access to commands or command blocks you're gonna wait for a night to come naturally but hopefully you get the point regardless but this is literally all it takes in order to go ahead and put this together. It takes redstone and a daylight sensor. And that's literally all it is. If you guys are um, willing to do so, you can obviously go ahead and take a bunch of redstone resources and make it so that your daylight sensor is quite a ways away from the actual grandfather clock itself, which is not too terribly complicated. Obviously, you need a ton of redstone to do that. And in case you guys are wondering how the actual daylight sensor is detecting nighttime, it's actually pretty simple. When you place it down, it actually is set by default to detect daylight. However, all you really have to do is click it and it'll change it to nighttime. And you can toggle it back and forth in this particular manner, as you can tell. Now it's actually technically detecting daylight, but if I go ahead and do this, now it is detecting night. So not too complicated. So next up, we've got ourselves an actual functioning decorative bed. And before I go any further, I actually got the idea for this particular build from a YouTuber by the name of Green. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of Green before, but if you haven't, he's a rather popular Java Edition Minecraft YouTuber who does a lot of decorative stuff, kind of like this. And I'll make sure I have a link down into the description so that you guys can see what video they actually got this particular idea from. However, what I will say is that in his video, the bed was strictly decorative and had no functionality to it. Whereas this one, I added that functionality into it, which is obviously being able to sleep. So before I go ahead and get in bed, I'm going to go ahead and get my alternate account on here so you guys can better see what this looks like from somebody else's perspective. All right, so here I've got my alternate account logged in. As you can tell, my old account has uh, some pajamas on right now, and technically speaking, so do I. Not that it really matters for the video, but I just thought it would make sense since we're gonna be getting into this bed. But let me go ahead and show you guys what this actually looks like. So if I go ahead and have my alternate account go into bed, this is actually what it looks like. And as you can tell, it actually looks like it's under the blankets. And you guys probably already guessed this at this point. It's using carpets to go ahead and pull this off. It actually works out really well. This is a really awesome way to go ahead and go about doing this. But I do want to show you guys at the very least what it looks like. At least in your perspective, I realize you are most likely not going to see this a whole heck of a lot, or at least for very long, I should technically say. But I will at least show you guys what it looks like. So as you can tell, it actually looks like you're 
looking under the covers. Obviously, it gets dark after a little bit once you're in there, but you guys get the point. But yeah, so thanks to my alternate account for helping me get on here. So let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to say goodbye to my alternate account for at least right now. We're not going to see him later in the video, but yeah. Okay, so got my alt account off of the world and I switched back to my normal skin. Nothing real matters again. But let's go ahead and set this back to daytime. And the next thing that we have is this chair. And you can already see how this is actually being pulled off. And we're actually using a minecart, which is actually fairly straightforward. So I can go ahead and click on this. And yeah, obviously I'm seeing it. I'm technically speaking, I'm inside of the actual uh, slab itself. But you guys at least get the point. But yeah, this is actually a really simple thing to go ahead and do. And in order to pull this off, first off, you're going to need to get the minecart in whatever position it is that you need it. And then you're going to need to get a block to either be pushing down from above or maybe potentially from the side. However, in that particular case, you are going to need something to prevent the minecart from moving. But regardless, this is how you pull it off. And you can do pretty much whatever decoration you want to the chair. Maybe you want to use a staircase instead of a slab that is perfectly fine. But if we go ahead and go to the back, I did actually put this on top of soul sand and soul sand actually dips down just a little bit and actually helps slightly prevent the minecart from moving around a whole heck of a lot. And I actually do kind of recommend that if you don't have soul sand just yet, you should still be able to do this perfectly fine, but you may accidentally move the minecart around just a little bit. Next up, we actually have this right here. And the building is not actually important for this particular thing. It's rather what's inside and what it does. And this does use some redstone. I'll show you guys that after I show you what it does. But if we go ahead and step in here and turn on the lever, we've got ourselves an actual functioning shower, which is actually pretty cool thing to consider. So if you really want to, you can go ahead and give yourself a nice cleanse. But yeah, so obviously the build is not the important part. It's the actual functionality to it, the actual redstone. It's actually not complicated. And this is literally all the redstone that you're actually going to end up needing. So you're going to need yourself behind the lever a redstone torch. Two hoppers going into one another with a single item inside of them. It doesn't really matter what the item is. Comparator out the side, an observer looking at that comparator piece of redstone dust on top and have that power a dispenser with a water bucket and this will dispense and pick it back up and if you set this up just like this then it will always end up turning off whenever you turn the actual system off which is the important part about it. you don't want the shower to be constantly running but yeah that's actually not too bad and before I go any further I actually have set up command blocks in order to make this a lot more interesting again obviously you won't have access to this inside of survival mode but i figured i'd go ahead and mention it. you can add a lot of things to this shower using command box if you really want to and also something else i want to point out is that this trip bar hook again this one's more specifically pure decoration but due to water logging well it's not going to go away so you can add a little bit more detail to your shower by using this and technically speaking you are going to have to crouch down in order to go ahead and place it down if you're in survival mode, or technically creative mode, I should technically say as well. But yeah, I just figured I'd mention that. And this last one is actually really good for outdoor scenes that you may put together. This is a grill, and as you can obviously tell, it's using a campfire to pull this off. You've got ourselves, at, basically it's sitting on top of a fence post, and it's got this iron trap door in the back, which technically speaking, this is actually in its powered state and you would not be able to do this normally however there is a little bit of a glitch that you can use to go ahead and pull this off without too much of an issue and it's actually really simple to do all you need to pull this off is obviously your iron trap door piston lever and any sort of solid block you want i'm actually going to go ahead and do this vertically so that you can be able to see for the record that there is like no redstone underneath. This is actually legitimately 
a glitch. So if I go ahead and power this and then depower, as you can tell, the trapdoor is in its powered state and it's up in the air. So there's that nothing actually powering it. It's literally just these four items, the trapdoor, piston, lever, and a solid block. And using this, you can go ahead and make this nice little grill without an issue. And the grill is actually a really nice feature because obviously campfires, you can go ahead and cook things on them without the need for fuel. So it actually works rather well, again, both aesthetically and functionally, which is really awesome, all things considered. This is why I actually love this kind of stuff inside of Minecraft. You can do a lot of stuff with it. But other than that, this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. If you guys want me to do, like, some further, like, decoration videos, because obviously I don't do these too uh, often, then you can go ahead and let me know some potential ideas for things I could do in future videos. And if I get a really decent idea, then I'll go ahead and put it together. But yeah, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end things off. Again, real quick before I uh, uh, end off the video. Again, if you guys are interested in buying a skin pack, make sure to check a link down in the description for more information. But yeah, this is where I'm ending things off. So Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. And make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero's Tuesday. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later.